What is the uh, kind of uh, benefit of freehand drawing? Uh, I'm gonna kind of go over that right now really fast. I'm Enrique, this is Easy Things to Draw. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome, amazing day. Oh, I'm stretching out. Oh my God. So uh, today I'm gonna talk about three benefits to freehand drawing. The reason is uh, somebody actually asked me this uh, on Quora on Quora, that website. I'll link that at some point. Uh, I answer questions on there every now and then, but uh, that's a question that came up. What is the benefit to just kind of drawing freehand? No reference, no nothing. Just kind of for yourself, what is the benefit to that? And I think there's three, three obvious ones. Uh, maybe not obvious, but I wanna go over those. W what I'm gonna do with this video is I'm gonna kind of doodle around as I'm talking so that you're not bored to death. Uh, so there's something on the screen. So. Um, oh, before you do though, if you like art advice, if you guys like learning to draw your favorite characters, which I gotta do more of those, uh, and or if you like, you know, drawing the head, the hands, the feet, any of that stuff, if you guys like learning, art, you guys like discussions, because I love talking, please hit that subscribe button and then click that little bell icon. The little bell icon is uh, kind of what gives you notifications to your inbox when I post a video. So. All right, let's get into it. What are three? What are the three benefits I'm talking about to freehand drawing? And I'll just start drawing randomly. Um, so the three of them that I think are is improved hand-eye coordination, improved a kind of recall, and then improved uh, how do you say that? Improved uh, creativity. So let me go through those one at a time. Uh, in terms of like improved dexterity, hand-eye coordination, that, that's an obvious one, right? You get better with your hand, you you're, you're, you can see, you know, you have these ideas, but then you can actually put them down on paper now. It's no longer like this, I don't know how to say it. It, it, you know, like, you remember what I told you in these other videos with dexterity? Um, I'm talking about, you know, using the muscles in your hand and your shoulder and your arm to actually get the effect that you want. Um, because that's one of those most frustrating things that people always talk about when they first draw is they can't get their hand to do what they want, right? And that's a whole other video. But when you freehand draw, you, you are exercising those exact same muscles and also kind of making your hand do what you want uh, within a drawing. Like you're pulling that stroke, pulling this. You're seeing that, you're getting that effect. Your hand-eye coordination, right? You're coordinating your hand and your eye together, that is a given. That gets better. Um, that's that, this pretty much comes with the territory, you know, when you're just freehand, freehand doodling. Uh, number two, uh, recall, right? You're also pulling, so for example, this eye I'm doodling right now, right? I'm doodling, doodling an eye. Chances are I've doodled an eye like that before at some point. Um, and it's in the library of my mind. Sometimes you are drawing stuff that you never drew before, but it's usually a remix of something you've done before. Uh, something I always say and I've heard from other people, uh, other, you know, my teachers uh, from the past was um, everything, if you can draw a circle, a, what was it? If you can draw a circle, oh, sorry, a sphere, a cube, and a cone, and you can pretty much draw any shape. If you can just shade those, you can shade anything. Um, sometimes those shapes are, you know, sometimes people add like, you know, a cylinder and then a, a triangle. You know what I mean? They, they can vary, but for the most part, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, those, those particular shapes. Um, so when I'm drawing something new, they're usually a variation on that shape or something I've seen before. I, I'm using that reservoir of information in my mind and I'm getting better at it too. I'm getting better at it. I'm doing this thing with my hand. That's funny. But uh, <clears throat> I'm getting better at recalling these things the more I practice that. And you get better w through time. Uh, through more sketching, through doodling with no reference, you will get better at recalling certain things. If you've filled it, right? <laughs> if you've actually practiced something over and over again and you, you have filled that, that bucket, uh, that memory bucket in your brain. Um, so you're better at recalling things. Uh, what's that last one I was talking about again? Let me see, recall. Uh, creativity. This is something that I, uh, you know, honestly, I, I just see myself as very weak at. My creativity is just not where I want it to be personally. I'm creative enough, right? I was creative enough to work. Uh, but I, I don't know, like, like uh, what I've been doing a lot recently is just sitting down again, just sketching for myself. 
and that's normally when all this creative stuff comes out when I'm not looking at anything, you know? Or I did look at something that jogs my idea center, right, of my mind, and I, um, and I kind of look at that stuff and I'm like, okay, cool, and then I just start doodling and I'm like, hey, you know, like I'll just start free, free associating, doodling, I've kind of talked about that too, kind of doing those fast doodles without lifting your pencil to warm up, sometimes through those warm ups, you'll get like these strange shapes, you know, and that's a whole other video, like sometimes uh, one of my exercises to warm up would be, like I'm saying, don't lift the pen and just doodle strange shapes. And every now and then you'll find something creative in that. Sometimes you won't, kind of like a Rorschach pattern. Like even that, I'm like, uh, maybe like a bug person, maybe? You know, maybe I can take that sketch later on and like try to flesh it out, try to pull ideas out of it, maybe not. That's a whole other video. Um, but yeah, finding, your, being more creative, um, like you just don't want to something me and my friend were talking about on this topic uh, sometimes me when I get a job I'll do only that job for months if not years and I won't do my own artwork anymore for a long time and th there's a risk and reward for that one if you're working in like let's say like a game industry you will have the reward of like saying hey you work at that company blah 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 you can put some of that stuff in your portfolio chances are some of that will never be in your portfolio some of it will, um, but you also don't. You might not own it, depending on the company. You might not even own that that stuff anymore. That's their property, um, and so chances are you'll never do your own your own art. Um, but yeah, that's that that that's the risk. Uh, and and so sometimes my my creativity dies because of that. Sometimes it's forced because of the job, but many times it'll die for me personally. I won't just do the the kind of off the off the wall kind of stuff I've wanted to do, um, so it is relaxing, and that is one of the benefit. the The third benefit to kind of uh, just freehand sketching. Um, that's pretty much it, honestly. Those three, those are the ones that came to my mind, and that's actually what I wrote down in the answer. So uh, please, if you guys have any, please let me know. I'm very curious. What What do you think is a benefit to just sketching for yourself with like no reference, no nothing, just out of your mind? What do you find to be your benefit? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, also, oh, I'm going to reply to every single comment. Uh, the other thing I forgot to say is I'm going to have a giveaway for anybody that's still watching the video. I'm going to have a giveaway and I'm going to give away $100. Uh, it's going to be uh, at the end of the month. Um, I haven't decided on the exact date. I know it's going to be right now it's April. Right now it's April 5th and unfortunately I'm going to have to what do you call it? Date this video. You know, I want it to be timeless. But <laughs> this is um, it's about April 5th right now. April 6th. And um, on May, I wanted to do it around my birthday. My birthday is around May 15th. But uh, somewhere in May, I haven't decided yet, I am going to give away $100. And the the all you have to do to get on that list is I want you to... Uh, I want you to sign up for the email list that we have, and uh, I'll, actually not this one, there's another one, I have a cute email list, it's like all uh, about the cute drawings and stuff like that, so it's like a cute email list on how to draw cute stuff, uh, so if you've always wanted to learn that, that's even, that's a bonus, you guys can see that, uh, but anyone who signs up to that from this video till, uh, I'm gonna give it like till May 15th, so we have a month and a half, a month and, month and a half. So from now to May 15, you're on, you're entered into that giveaway. It's just a straight up giveaway, just $100. You gotta have a PayPal account though, because I'm gonna pay through PayPal. So uh, just make sure you have a PayPal. Uh, I'm gonna put the link below. As soon as you do that, you're on, you're already entered in that. And then we're gonna use a randomizer to select somebody randomly out of the names. Sign up for that, and that's it. So that's the last announcement. Uh, pretty much it. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome, awesome uh, day, and you know I'll see you guys soon. See you later, guys.